Someone once said to me that, that uh, an insolvency practitioner is a bit like a funeral director for businesses. And, and I thought, I, I, I kind of understand where, where that comes from, but that's not really true because that's, you know, a funeral director only really deals with someone who has died, but you're not. You are preventing the death at times and, and maybe giving a rebirth, if, if that makes sense, aren't you? So an insolvency practitioner, we are governed by the Insolvency, insolvency Act. And that automatically brings to mind end of life liquidations, which are in my world, you do not pass go, you do not collect 200 pounds in monopoly. Um, and it's right and proper sometimes that companies are properly wound up because it can be a complex process. And it also can mean that there is, it, it's quite right that companies are wound up properly because it, it's, it's the way of our capitalist economy. And the legislation is written to allow for entrepreneurs to go forth and live their business dream. And regrettably, sometimes that business dream is not going to cut it. And so we as insolvency practitioners do deal with the winding up, the burial of a limited company, if you like. But at the other end, we also have the Enterprise Act of 2003. And what the Enterprise Act did was really give us a lot of restructuring tools in our bag to save businesses that are going concern, to give them these protective bubbles around them, to try and help limited companies, directors, restructure what it is that they're doing because maybe their business idea was a good one, but just unfortunately, for whatever reason, the financial element didn't work out that fine. But the whole legislation and the whole economy that we live in is not to be punitive on these people. Entrepreneurs and small business owners are the backbone of our country. And I fundamentally don't believe that the insolvency legislation is there to be punitive. I think that the way that it is enacted, be at the risk of being controversial by the official receiver, that's a government body in England and Wales that is deliberately there to follow the rule book to the nth degree. But the majority of insolvency practitioners are widely noted as being very commercially minded whilst following the spirit and the true meaning of the legislation. And they've got a wealth of knowledge and a wealth of contacts as well that can be really helpful for people. Um, and I, I think that the advice that they can give doesn't need to be, your company's dead, it's over. The advice can be anything from doomsday scenario, you're going to have to close the doors, right back to, let's just look at this in a slightly different way and we can make this work.